In period one, a lot of emphasis was placed on survival through avoiding starvation. A key movement seen during the period was the transition from small tribes of hunting and gathering into communities revolved around agriculture. Unlike period one, people shifted their effort from pure survival to different religions and ideologies as to how the people of Earth came to be. Some religions are still seen modern day. Spanish kingdom, give us your gold and submit your rule. Take him and look for the gold. In period 5, industrialization took place, growing economies and helping countries develop. One important side effect of the industrialization seen in period 5 was the large gap in the development of countries and social classes. We need to stop caring about the other countries, start focusing on ourselves and try to make America great again. First and foremost, these illegal immigrants are coming in to our country and taking our American jobs. Get them! And you can look forward to learning about this at home in your gradebook, in which you will have to take notes every week because Ms. Garza will grade them every Monday. Many have failed and many will continue to fail. But don't worry, because all these late Sunday nights and all these endless nights of homework will pay off. Because at the end of the year, you will realize that Miss Garza has got you more than ready for the AP test, which consists of 55 document based questions, four short answer selections, one DBQ, and one LEQ. So after watching all these clips of all the units from 1 to 6, I'm going to be giving you advice on a few things that you're going to have to get through in AP World History. First thing, and what I think is the most important, is the notes. The first six weeks of notes is basically like the test. If you can handle those notes, then all the rest of the notes throughout the next six weeks are going to be easier. So coming into AP World History, it's going to be hard. And the Miss Garza is really gonna challenge you, but you're gonna have to learn to be mature about taking an AP course and be organized in what you do. Uh, stay on task. Think of the long-term goal. Think of how this is gonna benefit you outside of high school, and just take this class seriously. All right. So you're gonna be taking this class. It's called AP World History. It's gonna be really difficult, but as as the year goes on, you'll you'll get used to it. The notes are basically really hard the first six weeks, and as you go on, they get easier. Hey guys, my name is James, and um, like the other guys have said, AP World History is gonna be pretty tough. And don't let that discourage you though. You know what, like it's, um, it's a very humbling experience. You're gonna be faced with several difficulties. You're gonna have weekly notes consisting of 20 to 10 to 20 pages, in which you're gonna have to take a note on every single thing that you find important. You're um, gonna have to take Cornell notes, which the teacher's gonna go over them, grade them every single Monday. Um, you're gonna take quizzes once every two weeks, things like that. You're gonna have to write essays, multiple essays, several times throughout your experience. But more importantly, this class is gonna get you ready for the next phase of life, the next, um, the next year, your next, like all your subjects, your study habits. It's gonna get you more prepared in general, and not. Not only that, but it shows you the type of person you are. If you want to BS the course, you can. You can cheat on notes. You can study the night before quizzes. You can do all your notes the day before. You can take your other friend's notes. 
it's if you want to cheat you can but keep in mind that this course is meant to prepare you not only for your AP history test but for life college your next few years of high school this class is the most this class was my favorite class of the year because of its stable structure the fact that you know exactly what's gonna happen and when and I appreciate that because like I said it's gonna help me in life it's gonna prepare me for the next few years it's gonna prepare me for college it's gonna help me in my college applications and I'm writing essays it's just a beneficial course so although yes it may be rigorous it's all gonna be worth it in the end